The overall goal of this procedure is to use the CRISPR-Cas9 nuclease system to create genomic deletions. First, electroporate the two CRISPR plasmids and a GFP reporter plasmid simultaneously into the cells. Then, using fluorescence-activated cell sorting, isolate the top 3% of GFP-expressing cells. Next, plate the sorted cells at limiting dilution and screen for biallelic deletion clones using conventional PCR. Ultimately, CRISPR-Cas9 can be used to study genes and genetic elements by producing loss-of-function deletion alleles. Compared to frameshift mutations produced by a single guide RNA, large deletions generated by the CRISPR-Cas9 nuclease system can help ensure loss-of-function mutations. This approach also allows for easy and cheap screening via conventional PCR. We first had the idea for this method when we found screening for small indels created by a single guide RNA to be technically challenging, laborious, and expensive. Deletion alleles are also particularly informative for the study of non-coding genetic elements. For each CRISPR pair, pellet 2 times 10 to the 6th cells grown in suspension. Resuspend the cells in 100 microliters of electroporation solution, and then transfer to an electroporation cuvette. Add 5 micrograms of CRISPR-Cas9 construct SGRNAA, 5 micrograms of CRISPR-Cas9 construct SGRNAB, and 0.5 micrograms of the GFP expression construct.